SUV driver hits crowd at Texas bus stop near border, seven dead. Seven people were killed and up to six were injured Sunday after they were struck by a vehicle while waiting at a city bus stop outside of a migrant shelter in the border city of Brownsville, Texas, police said. Brownsville Police Investigator Martin Sandoval said the crash happened about 8.38.M. Shelter Director Victor Maldonado of the Bishop Enrique San Pedro Ozam Center said he reviewed the shelter's surveillance video on Sunday morning after receiving a call about the crash. The city bus stop is across the street from the shelter and is not marked. There was no bench, and people waiting there were sitting along the curb, Maldonado said. He said most of the victims were Venezuelan men. What we see in the video is that this SUV, a Range Rover, just ran the light that was about a 100 feet away and just went through the people who were sitting there in the bus stop, Maldon Auto said. He said the SUV flipped after running up on the curb and continued moving for about 200 feet, about 60 meters. Some people who were walking on the sidewalk about 30 feet away from the main group were also hit. Maldon Auto said. The Ozanam shelter is the only overnight shelter in the city of Brownsville and manages the release of thousands of migrants from federal custody. Brownsville has long been an epicenter for migration across the U.S. Mexico border, and it has become a key location for next week's ending of the pandemic era border restrictions known as Title 42. San Oval told KRGV TV that authorities are investigating whether the crash was intentional or an accident. They are also testing the driver, who was held at the scene by witnesses, for intoxication. Maldonado said the center had not received any threats before the crash, but they did afterwards. I've had a couple of people come by the gate and tell the security guard that the reason this happened was because of us, Maldonado said.